Hey, good morning, Kirby World. This is uh, Randy McCurry, National Recruiting Fuel Cell Specialist for North America, here in the President's Office again with Sir Daniel Blaylock of North American Field Sales, about to introduce again another caffeine with Padano. Yep, and I can tell you the caffeine tastes much better because I'm drinking it out of my Kirby Life coffee mug. Randy will talk a little bit more about that in a minute. Uh, look, March 13th is Sell a Kirby Day. We're a few weeks out from your best day in business, hopefully ever. We are less than a week away from the launch of the March 2021 push month. So we know you're all gearing up for that. Uh, hopefully the tips you get from John Padano will help. And at this time, Randy, if you wanna explain to everybody, if you don't already know how you can receive your very own Kirby Life coffee mug. The Kirby Life coffee mugs are something that we introduced at the beginning of the Caffeine with Padano. And all you need to do to earn a Kirby Life mug is to make sure you bring in a sponsored recruit that you talk to through Kirby Life and they came into a training class. They don't have to sell a Kirby. They don't even have to necessarily graduate. Of course, we want them to. But, you know, when they come in and they, they you bring them into training, they graduate. When they sell that one Kirby, you're going to get that $100 bonus plus the mug. When they sell six, you would get that free Kirby, which you see displayed right here on the Kirby banner. And how awesome would that be? We talked about that last time with Sell a Kirby Day coming up. You get Kirby Life recruits now getting ready for the push. You might have two, three Kirby sponsors in. Kirby Life recruits that might earn you two or three free Kirby's. All right. It's just the Kirby mugs are going out. We've had a lot of submits come in already. We're sending the mugs out now as soon as we get them so you can enjoy capping with Padano. In fact, that's where we'd like to turn it over to right now. This is John Padano with another episode, an educational and motivational episode with Caffeine with John Padano. Hey, thank you, Randy and Dan. Hey, just again, wear your mask, social distance, wash your hands. And I'm going to take this off. I'm all alone here. Today, I want to talk about how to make a friend, right? You know, they did a survey years ago, and they surveyed people that had just bought from a salesperson, and they asked that customer, describe the person that sold you in just one word. And what do you think that word was? When I would ask this question in a classroom, people would say high pressure, pushy, et cetera. And I would simply say, so you would buy from a high pressure, pushy salesperson. And the answer was always no. The word people used the most to describe that salesperson was nice. He was a nice guy. She was a nice girl. So if you want to sell a lot of Kirby's, you got to be nice. So, but how do we get that customer to like us? How do we make a friend? And I'm going to boil this down to just a few things. Number one, here is the secret to Kirby. If you do this throughout your presentations, when approaching a customer, you're going to be very successful in Kirby. Are you ready? Here it is. Smile. You got to smile when you get there. You got to smile when they're not in a good mood. You got to smile when they say yes, and you got to smile when they say no. See, if I smile at somebody for an hour and a half presentation, sooner or later, that customer is going to be smiling back. When that customer is sitting down watching your presentation, they look like this. Things are going pretty good, right? If they're sitting like this, not so good. So look at, what's the difference between Kirby and every other job you ever had in your life? And all your other jobs, when did you smile? I'll tell you when, when you felt like it, when there was a reason to smile, right? See, when you're in Kirby, you got to learn to smile when the last thing you might feel like doing right now is smiling because that's how we're gonna get that customer to like us, yes? So I think before we go any farther, I can see you guys. I know you don't really understand, but I can see you. So when I say go, what I want everybody to do is put on the biggest, happiest, brightest smile you got. Are you ready? One, two, three, go! Now I see you out there. Some of you are doing this, and some of you are like doing this. <laughs> <laughs> right? Look at, you got to learn to smile all the time in Kirby land, right? Number one. Number two, what's everybody's favorite subject? Themselves. So when you get at that customer's house, you talk about them. Are you folks from this area originally? How long have you owned the home? And think about this for a second. When a sales, when a person walks into like a car dealership, that salesperson knows absolutely nothing about them. We have the advantage. We're in people's living rooms in their home. 
all you simply got to do is take a look around that living room. What do people put in their living room? Pictures of who? People they love, friends, family, relatives. Do you think it's a good idea or a great idea for you to ask them about that? What else do they put in their living room? Trophies, plaques, things they're proud of, souvenirs from places they've been. See, when you ask that customer about them, they're going to start telling you how to sell them if you're listening and paying attention. So ask questions about them. Talk about them. Yes? The second, the last, the third thing. How do you feel if someone's talking to you and they're doing this? Not too good, right? So when that customer talks, that's the most important thing is for you to do what? Listen, right? So when that customer's speaking to you, there's a few things you need to do. Number one, make eye contact. It lets them know you're paying attention. Number two, I always nod a little bit because I want to encourage them to keep talking. The more talking they do, the easier it's going to be at the end when I'm asking them to buy. The third thing is, unless they're telling me about something tragic or bad, I always have kind of a half smile on my face, right? So when they're talking to me, this is me. Uh-huh. Oh, really? Okay. And look at people feel important when someone's listening to them, right? And who's more important at that particular time than that customer? Nobody. The other way you make get people to like you is... Look at when I'm going to shampoo their carpet, I'm going to work extra hard. See, if I have to go over a spot, we'll say a traffic pattern, and lo and behold, it doesn't come out as great as I'd like it to. Yes. And then I get out my pre-treatment and I spray it and I get down on my hands and knees and I scrub that spot a little bit. Does the customer know they don't have to buy a Kirby today? Of course they do. Yet if I'm going that extra mile and then I shampoo it again, and maybe I might even hit it a third or a fourth time. In other words, I shampoo that carpet as if it was my own home. And I don't stop cleaning it until I'm satisfied with the way it looks. Without me saying one word, what does that tell the customer about me? Tells them I'm a hard worker. Tells them I care about the job I'm doing. Tells them I'll go the extra mile for my customer. Are those things you want your customer thinking about you when you're asking them to buy? If I do the opposite, I shampoo it and it looks no better than it did before I got there. And all of a sudden now I'm asking them to buy. What does that tell them? It tells them all you care about is the money. See, you want to sell a lot of Kirby's, you got to be nice, but you really got to care about these customers. You got to find out what's important to them. You got to find out their cleaning problems and then solve them, right? John and Mary, what would you say the toughest cleaning problem you have in your home today? And when they answer you, they might say cat hair, pet hair, dog hair, spots, stains, traffic patterns, whatever they say, at some point in time, the Kirby's going to solve that problem for them, isn't it? And lo and behold, that's going to give that customer a great reason to go ahead and get the Kirby from you today. How else do we get people to like us? Look, if I compliment them, right, it makes people feel good. But here's the thing with compliments. They have to be sincere, right? It has to be something you really and truly mean. When I would go into a home and the kids were sitting on the couch and they were all well behaved, I, would, I always thought and believed still to this day that that's a reflection on those parents, isn't it? Because I've been in a lot of homes where the kids are running all over the place, they're grabbing stuff out of the box and they're just totally out of control, right? So when you're in that home where those kids well behaved, you really want to give that parent a compliment. You simply say this. Gosh, John and Mary, I just want you to know what a pleasure it is to be in a home like yours where the children are so well behaved. And I just really believe, because I go to a lot of homes and they're all over the place. And I just really believe that that's a reflection on the two of you as parents. And I just want you to know, I appreciate it. And then go on with your presentation, right? But make sure that compliment's sincere. You can't go into the home that's not that nice and go, gosh, what a beautiful home you have, because they'll look around and wonder who, what the heck you're talking about, right? So make sure that you're sincere with your compliments. And the last way to get people to like you is to have their best interest at heart. I truly believe when someone purchases a Kirby, they're saving themselves money. 
because they would spend way more money replacing their carpeting, replacing their furnishings, and buying five, six, seven vacuums in the lifetime of one Kirby. So when I don't sell them a Kirby, I almost feel like I'm doing them a disservice. Like I should have done something more or something better for that customer because they are going to spend more later on. So look at it. Make a friend in that house. But if, look, it's almost like learning how to swim, right? Can you learn how to swim by reading a book? No. When do you learn how to swim? When they throw you in the water and you make sure that you can stay above water, right? When do you learn how to make a friend in Kirby? When we throw you in a house and all of a sudden now, ah, what do I do? If you just remember one thing, if you're brand new today, and that's remember this, smile. When I was, if I looked at my customer and they were looking at me like this, if your customer's looking at you like this, it's because you're looking at them like that. And if you're looking at them like that, things probably aren't going in the right direction. So if you look at your customer and they look like this, this is what you got to do. <laughs> and get a smile on that customer's face. If they're smiling, things are going in the right direction. When you're having fun and that customer is having fun, it's always going to end up as a sale at the end. Now, before we go on, I just want you to understand, bring in that buddy. I got my Kirby Life coffee cup today. And look at, as Dan has been saying all month long, the coffee tastes better when it's in a Kirby Life cup because it means that you're on your way when that Kirby Life recruit sells their six machine to get yourself a free machine. But look at John and Mary, I've disinfected this chair seven or, three, or at least three times free already. So I think it's time I should disinfect another part of your home. So today I'm going to disinfect this couch. And folks, I just want you to know that Kirby has partnered with a company so that we can actually do a disinfectant service. And our disinfectant, it's called BioEsk, but it's actually one of the few that's EPA approved. You can use this around pets, animals, food, children, nothing's going to happen. It's absolutely harmless. The other thing, great thing about it, it kills the coronavirus in a minute or less, and it will kill other bacteria, viruses, and mold and germs in four minutes or less. So to give you an idea, what I'm going to do is quickly disinfect this couch. And folks, we priced it out to disinfect a home usually runs about an average of 20 cents a square foot. So if you take a 2000 square foot home, this right here could save you 400 bucks by being able to disinfect everything yourself. We use the Kirby spray unit because it puts a fine mist. We don't want to soak anything. It little bit goes a long, long way. Let me show you how I disinfect this couch for you. Now, folks, the great thing about this is our disinfectant, you can actually use it on soft surfaces as well as hard surfaces. When you use it on a hard surface, you have to leave it there for four minutes, allow it to dry because, again, it kills the, everything it's going to kill in four minutes or less. So don't dry it off until four minutes have passed. And look, if you forget to dry it off, again, it's harmless. It's not going to cause any harm to pets, animals, children, people, or anything. Fantastic. And with that being said, I'm going to turn it back over to Dan and Randy. Well, I'll tell you what, Randy, that was absolutely amazing. And if you want to close more sales, if you listen to John, you can't help but close more sales. Hopefully you're turning uh, on every week caffeine with Padano. And uh, I'll tell you what, this coffee tastes a lot better from my Kirby Life coffee mug. I'll bet you wish you had one. I know that I've had a hard time sleeping at night because there's so much caffeine in this baby that once you drink that high test and after watching John Padano with all that information and education, I'm just too excited. I want to go sell Kirby's. Look, I understand how you feel. I didn't know if I was up all night because of the caffeine with Padano or if it was from the show Caffeine with Padano, but I'm excited. I'm ready for the push month. I know you are too. Uh, let's gear up. It's the final week. Let's gear up for a huge march. Let's roll into it with momentum and let's make it the best month we've had in years.